Hello, Don Hall, it's a how-to video, and it's about paintbrushes. I'm gonna demonstrate for you how I use different kinds of paintbrushes to do different jobs while I'm painting under glaze. These are some paintbrushes, and uh, th this one is called a round brush. The same with this one, only it's smaller. Why they call them round, I don't know. They're pointed. This is a flat brush. And this one's called a bright. It's a flat brush. It's just the corners are rounded off a little bit. Fan brush. A mop brush. A line brush. And I don't know what that one's called. But uh, I use it. Uh, as just as you'd use a house painting brush to put on wide swaths of underglaze. If you enjoy this demo, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, comments are always welcome. The first brush I'm going to demonstrate is this round brush. It's a Japanese style brush I designed to do calligraphy. And this is a brush that my good pal Pamela Quayle uses to make these nice leaf patterns on her vases and her, her, her wear. Okay, so here's that, here is that Japanese calligraphy brush that has been dipped in some underglaze. I usually put a little bit of water in there, thin it down a little bit for this particular job and it's very simple the thing nice about this brush is it'll make a line and a leaf just by touching it down onto the clay i normally will uh paint my underglaze on leather hard clay. This is another one of those same brushes that I use to make sort of a, a kind of a bamboo type calligraphy which is done something like this. Sometimes I will incorporate this fan brush into this a little bit too. Give it that illusion of bamboo a little bit. The next brush I'm going to do, I'm going to use this smaller round one to show you how I paint in these sort of oddball sort of shapes. I demonstrated this for you once before in an earlier video, but basically the thing that's nice about these round ones is you can take them in all sorts of directions and it's they're fairly easy to make a nice point. So it's a simple, it makes doing this particular kind of uh, work easier it uh, always needs several coats remember now I have another brush that I just loaded up with uh, some under glaze and this is a lining brush and it's used just to make long thin lines as if the bird is sitting on a wire I use this this particular brush a lot. There's smaller ones for thinner lines. All right, I've given it three coats of underglaze with my round brush. Now what I'm gonna do with this 
is biscuit, let it dry out, biscuit, cone 06. Take, once it's out of the 06 bisque, and what I do is now I'll use my big brush. It's been bisqued. I'll put this into the uh, clear glaze and just sort of slop paint it on. That's how I use my paintbrush. Then I raku fire it and it turns the clay black and where it was glazed with my brush, it turns it white. All right, the next brush I wanna tell you about is the flat brush. And I use it for decoration like this where I need a real sharp, clean edge and I and it's tedious I have to keep doing it and I want it I want the brush to fit in that very nicely and these flat these flat brushes work really well for that. Also I'm going to show you how I make this gradation from light to dark like it's on this circle here where the underglaze add gets some white added and it gets some black added and it, it gives the illusion that it's a sphere not just a flat disc. So I'm going to show you both of those techniques now. Okay, so I can use this brush and it works very nicely to stay inside a nice straight line. Straight brush makes a straight line. So I'm going to just give this two good solid coats of orange and let it dry in between. And then I'll, I'll show you how I transition it from light to dark. What I've done now is I, I added a little bit of black and a little bit of white to my orange on opposite sides. I'm gonna start out with the dark side. So I just pick up a little of that orange and a little of the black on my brush and start in the corner and gradually sort of feather it out till I get to the middle. I will clean out my brush with water in between, go back to the orange, give it some more orange in the middle, clean out the brush, go back to my paint, pick up a little bit of white in the orange and start on the other end. And it takes at least three times doing this. I've, I gave it two coats of orange underglaze to begin with, and then I gave it one coat like this, and I would probably do this maybe three or four more times. I'd gradually get it a little darker on one side and gradually, slowly build it up to the middle. So it gives us a nice transition from light to dark. So that's how I do that. So get the right paintbrush to do the job, right? I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it.